The world freaks out over a deadly Chinese virus. How far will it spread? This is China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. An outbreak of a deadly coronavirus from the Chinese city of Wuhan is spreading. It's now surpassed the number of people affected by SARS in 2003. SARS was another deadly disease that the Chinese Communist Party tried to cover up, which only made it worse. It was a bad idea that time. It's a bad idea now. The initial cover-up of this new coronavirus has made the spread worse, and the coronavirus has now spread to every region of China. The rest of the world is freaking out, despite the fact that there are still fewer than 100 cases outside China. World Health Organization officials have now declared it a global health emergency. The rest of the world is responding to the coronavirus in different ways. Foreign companies operating in China are shutting down. For example, Starbucks has closed 2,000 stores in China. So hey, there you go. There's your silver lining. At least people don't have to suffer from a terrible disease and terrible coffee. Other companies are doing even more to help the people trapped in China. For instance, there's been a huge shortage of medical masks. So Boeing is donating a quarter million. Meanwhile, a Danish newspaper printed this political cartoon, which the Chinese Communist Party was really not cool with. The Chinese embassy in Denmark demanded an apology for hurting the feelings of the Chinese people. But you know, I think the Chinese people would prefer an apology from the Chinese government for covering up the virus. But the Chinese people won't be getting an apology. The Danish newspaper refused, and to no one's surprise, the Chinese Communist Party is also not apologizing. Fortunately for Americans living in China, the U.S. State Department chartered a plane to evacuate U.S. citizens in Wuhan back to the United States. Don't worry, the individuals on board the flight were screened before takeoff, monitored during the flight by medical personnel, and screened again when the plane landed. They're also being voluntarily quarantined at a military base in Southern California for three days. The U.S. is planning more evacuation flights from Wuhan. And other countries have also been looking at evacuating their citizens from Wuhan. Some, like Japan, have also been given the go-ahead by China. Not Taiwan, though. Meanwhile, Russia is just closing its entire border with China. And when Putin says, close the southern border, no one in his country is allowed to protest. And if you're watching this show illegally from China, now might be a good time to leave. Because commercial airlines around the world are suspending a lot of flights to and from China. It's either an attempt to halt the spread of the virus, or there's a curious lack of demand for flights to China right now. Good news, though. Australian scientists have been the first to recreate the virus outside of China. Wait, why is that good news? Well, supposedly this is a major breakthrough that will hopefully help find a cure. That or some intern is playing a real-life version of Plague Inc. But with the virus spreading rapidly around the world, International health organizations are like, can we please help China? Please. And the Chinese regime was like, nah. They denied help from the CDC. That's the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. I mean, you wouldn't want them snooping around and accidentally exposing a massive cover-up, right? But after more begging, the Chinese regime announced it would finally accept some limited help from the World Health Organization. The organization, in turn, praised China's response to the outbreak, including its rapid identification of the virus and its openness to sharing information with WHO and other countries. The World Health Organization praised China's response? I wonder if that had anything to do with why they got access to China. Or maybe it's because the head of the organization is such good buddies with Xi Jinping. And that's it for the update on the coronavirus. What do you think of how the world is freaking out and how are you freaking out? Tell me in the comments below. And want to stand up to the Chinese Communist Party yourself? Join the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. That's what I call the fans who support China Uncensored through the crowdfunding website Patreon. YouTube demonetizes a lot of our episodes, so we rely on your support to help keep the show going. Today's question comes from William Adderholt. I have a question for the show. What exactly are these live markets where the epidemic supposedly started? How unsanitary are they? Good question. The markets are often called wet markets in Chinese. They're usually open-air markets where you can buy food from different vendors. 
They sell everything from fruits and vegetables to raw meat, seafood, and live animals. They're a huge part of China's food supply chain, and some of them are not super sanitary. Chopping fish on the floor, butchering pork without gloves, and freshly slaughtered chickens just hanging around. This is the Huanan Seafood Market in Wuhan, regarded as the epicenter of the outbreak. It's been closed down now. They sold all sorts of weird stuff. This was a menu at one of the more exotic animal stalls. To be fair, according to some reports, the first person reportedly infected with the coronavirus on December 1st never came into contact with that wet market. There's a lot of conflicting information right now, and it'll be months before we know what happened, if at all. But the virus did somehow spread to that wet market. And wet markets are the perfect place to spread disease. Because they're pretty much unregulated. Live animals, feces, blood, and produce all next to each other. It's a little unsanitary. But what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, right? Thanks for your question. And thank you for watching. Hope you all stay safe and healthy. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. This is China Uncensored.